So, Whiskey Cast, how long have you been doing this? Four years in November. In fact, part of the reason I'm here is because on the very first show, November 12, 2005, Parker Bean was the first interview that we did for the show. I talked to them a couple weeks before at Whiskey Fest in New York about Bernheim Wheat Whiskey, and it was the first interview I did for the show. And that's one of the reasons why I'm so glad to be out here now. Well, and, and your show's great. And it's Thank cool you. to see another whiskey show like ours, you know. I, I love I love checking all these out. Right. And, and now I'm curious to know, what do you think of this 2000 Vintage? I love the 2000 Vintage. What I found was that after you sip it, it's got this nice, strong, peppery kick that really comes out at the end that uh, has this n nice creamy finish, but then it just has the nice little bit of spice in there. It's, one of the things these guys re do really well is a nice creamy smooth bourbon. No matter which brand it is, that's one of the hallmarks of a Parker Beam bourbon, is that it's very smooth, very creamy, but then when you get this, you get this nose, and there's, I don't get any oak in this at all, but I get this great vanilla, just a touch of cinnamon. I get a little bit of dark chocolate in there too, but I get, for some reason I get dark chocolate in a lot of whiskeys when I'm nosing it. But it's got these great smooth aromas to it, this great taste, and then once you sip it, and you give it a few seconds, and then now the spice comes out. Are you getting it when you do the same thing? I am. And it just has this amazingly smooth, little aromatic finish that just sort of hits the tip of your tongue and the back of your throat just right. Uh, I, I have to admit I'm a bit spoiled because of the three bourbons that I've scored a 95, two of them were the Parker's Heritage Collection, this year's and last year's. And the only other, there was one other one that I scored 95 this year's Jefferson's Presidential Bourbon. But whenever I try anything from these guys, I know what I'm going to get coming in. Is no matter which mash bill it is, it's going to be smooth, it's going to be creamy, and the odds are I'm going to like it. I'm liking it already, and I think you have some nice notes there. And I think you've left. I think I've left you speechless, haven't I? Yeah, he's 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 filled in the blanks. There really never was a blank. There, there will be. There will soon be a blank glass of bourbon here, though. Make that too. Well, which means we'll have to get another one. <laughs> uh, well, in the interest of being responsible, I may call it a night after three or four more. But it's responsible enough for me. I'm not hey, driving. Here's the whiskey cast. Thank you thank for joining us. Thank I'm so you. glad that we got to talk. Thank and you. Thank you because more people need to do stuff like this, and I'm glad that what you're doing is helping bourbon lovers too. And you deserve a lot of credit for doing this Thanks. and for doing it in the excellent way that you guys are with the dedication you are. I think you're doing a great job with it. Thank you. It means a lot.